Hi there, here's a video to help you with the tune part of uh, Ode to Joy for the virtual orchestra project. So Ode to Joy is a great, very famous tune that Beethoven wrote as part of a bigger orchestral piece. lovely tune. Um, this one is in F major. So you'll see in your music, which hopefully you've printed out, at the beginning of each line you've got one flat. So a flat looks like a little slightly slanty B. Okay. And that, one, that flat is on the first finger on the A string, you'll see. And hopefully you already know what a B flat is. So B flat, a flat makes the note lower from a B to a B flat. Yeah, from a B to a B flat, a low first finger behind your first finger strip. Okay. It also has no sharps. So it has no sharp on the second finger on the D string, an F sharp. Hasn't got an F sharp, okay? So hasn't got a sharpened note. It's just got an F, which is a low second finger. Also hasn't got a C sharp, which will be a second finger on the A string. So it's a low second finger on the A string as well. These are the notes you've got. In this piece, I've just written out a some of the notes, so B, first finger, second finger with a natural, just to remind you that it's a low second finger, third finger, A, B flat with a low first finger, and then C with a natural, so it's a low second finger. Okay. to mention, check that you've spotted. First, you'll see the down bow signs, the beginning of the second line, third line and fourth line. Just to remind you, every time you see a down bow sign, it's asking you to do another down bow. So if you see a down bow, then you've got to do a bow circle to land at the heel again. So you've got your full bow to do another down. Bow. Always good to be able to spot those. You'll also notice on the third line you've got slurs. Yeah? So don't forget to do those. Um, so the pattern is like this, isn't it? A low first finger, then a second finger, now with a gap, yeah? So, and then the third finger here, okay? So this would be a, our normal kind of G major position with our one here and our low second finger and our lift here. But when you lift the one back, you have this position. Yeah, with the one back, the two in the middle and the three stretched out. It's a slightly different feeling, okay? So it's good to have that kind of pattern in your mind while you're playing it through. Yeah, so I'm going to play it now with the 
backing track just to see how it all sounds together. Hopefully this will all work. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. enjoy learning this and if you have any doubts or worries drop me a line